Hi, today episode we will talk a little bit about case management and uh, my sister will be go more about some customization that she did to resolve a business challenge. So generally what we did discuss on is um, the relation with the customer don't finish the moment that you order or your deal is done, the, the relation start from there. And you need to have a good relation with him afterward. That's why we have, and it says for self, uh, one of the solutions is the service solution, which help you after uh, when you do your deal to do the uh, after the deal services. Uh, but like you say, and you know from the reality, the problem is how we assign. Like the support people generally, they have like a million cases at the last minute, and they. They try to manage every time, but the problem is uh, they have too much and they cannot do and there is some cases which are forgotten, some cases which exactly. are not even their type or subject even. So True. Yeah, that's uh, one of the problems. Uh, uh, if you have a service company, uh, you get a lot of cases. Uh, usually they can come from uh, different yeah. channels. Uh, the customer can call and talk about his problem or he can fill an online uh, form or a lot of other uh, types uh, to, uh, to create a case. But uh, like you said, the biggest problem is uh, the management of the big number of cases. Um, in, in most of the, um, I mean many companies use the standard solution of Salesforce for the case management, the case escalation, etc. Uh, the good thing about Salesforce is that it gives you room for customization. So you can uh, add features, add uh, some customization to the already uh, available standard solutions. So for example, for uh, the case um, management, you can, we can create another object that will uh, sort of take the case and uh, assign it directly to the person uh, fit to deal with that case because like you said we have like uh, we get sometimes a, a big big number of cases and uh, it is not treated for sometimes days or months or sometimes years and then if you go back to that case to treat it you find the clients actually gone uh, so exactly because they didn't have any uh, reply any uh, solution for their problem so uh, in that kind of situations it would be uh, great to uh, to assign the cases to the person fit to uh, work on that case without giving them actually the choice of picking up the case that will work good for them so uh, one of the solutions yeah um, developers can uh, develop is um, to create another uh, object that will have a number of fields uh, necessary to assign those cases to the people who are um, uh, who are uh, fit to work on that and uh, uh, live uh, the life of the case uh, until it is closed. When I mean the life of the case, the same case problem can uh, be assigned to a number of people, uh, support the, the technical people who uh, would try to fix that problem. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you, uh, by the way. Uh, but we need to forget, uh, not forget, by the way, it's the, the business process of it. Uh, like you said, there is the escalation, but also the business need to organize himself accordingly uh, so the system represents his process. So he need to create, uh, for, first of all, a different team for whatever is the reason, like a different subject, mm -hmm. and also at the same time create different level. So there is the ex escalation going from one part to another, mm -hmm. either with some criteria that it's defined or not. And mm -hmm. this is what you did work on. The idea of exactly, exactly. Actually, uh, this uh, the, the first thing you do is to assign this case to uh, a level one queue. Uh, you can exactly you can have a number of level one queues depending on the technology, depending on the the, the how can I say this the product. Yeah. You can have 
a number of products. So HQ take care of uh, takes care of that product. So uh, this case is related to a uh, product A. So I will assign it to the queue who takes care of the product A. Okay. Uh, all of those queues are in uh, the first level. So the users that belong to that queue. Once they connect, they are connected uh, into omnichannel. They will get uh, the cases assigned to their queues. So they will have no choice. The good thing is uh, to not give them a choice uh, whether or not to take that case. Uh, so it once will be they be their to do list, for example. Exactly, you have like a number of cases, and if I am a user uh, that. Uh, that uh, belong to that queue, I will get that case and I'll have to work on it. So uh, the choice would be uh, if I can fix that, then I will fix it. If it's beyond my level of expertise, then I will escalate that queue to the level 2, level 3, depends on the person that stays uh, on the human part yes. to assess uh, the level of the case. If I need if I need the support from for somebody, did you find that did you create a solution? I only need yes, that that's advice. that's one of the things that are possible is to um, okay. Like I said, there are three cases. One, the first one is that you're capable of taking care of the case and and solve it. Then that's gone. Second case is uh, is uh, when the case is not in your level of expertise. So you escalate that case to uh, another queue on another level to uh, take care of that case. But there are a third uh, case actually is uh, when you uh, just need the help of another member of the same queue or you need a help uh, from the another level but you can finish that uh, solving that case on your own so what you do is use a solicitation okay. which is custom it's not really standard to uh, Salesforce but uh, you uh, sort of um, need the help, require the help of another person, that person uh, leave a comment on your uh, on, on Twitter or on your uh, page layout or, or, or on a field comment or whatever, it can be customized uh, as you want actually uh, and uh, that case come back to you uh, again through Omnichannel uh, and you can uh, finish and close that case afterwards. So the difference between escalation and solicitation is that when you, es uh, 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 you use escalation, you just give that case to another person and it's not your responsibility anymore. But for solicitation, you just uh, ask for help from another person from any other level and then that person, when uh, they give you help or Sometimes they can actually refuse if they're not yeah, they uh, capable or, or whatever uh, of, of solving or helping you. So you get back that uh, case and then you try to solve it. Yeah, okay. so this is on the other end, uh, solve the problem of assignment. So give to the right people the right case with the right amount so they can manage it. So also exactly. at the same time we need the, the business organization and to see the number of support that we have and to follow all of that KPI. So yeah. So, so yeah, you, once you've done your business analysis of the situation, the technical solution would be, uh, like I said, to create another object that will assign that case to the, 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 the people that are fit to work on that. Uh, and then people will be uh, will try to solve that uh, case or escalate it or or actually uh, ask for help until that case is is closed. Yes. So uh, the uh, the good thing about that is to uh, sort of uh, make it uh, mandatory for them to take that case and work on it. So uh, that's sort of actually that solves the problem of having a hundred of cases that stays for years and losing customers. Those the main um, 
the main advantage of this customization or this technical solution uh, using uh, Salesforce is to uh, actually uh, decrease the number of clients that will leave you for yeah, another sure. one. That's uh, the ultimate goal, let's say. Yeah. So at the end, we can say that uh, we help the support to manage their task and we help, help the company customers. keep their clients active. Yes. Thank you very much, Safi. Thank you, Hasim.